Power Commands is a very cool little add-in that absolutely every developer needs to install. You could argue that some add-ins are only for web developers or client developers or Silverlight developers, but the Power Commands are really for everyone. You can get them from the code gallery and they just save you a handful of mouse clicks each time, but the point is they keep you thinking about your work instead of stopping and thinking, wait a minute, what path did I keep this file in or the like. So they really save you a ton of effort. Let me just dive in and show you how that works. Here's Visual Studio and I've got a solution open with a couple of, of projects in it and I'm just going to show you what happens when I have the power commands installed into my Visual Studio. You may know that you can click on right click on a tab up here and get a choice of open containing folder, but Power Commands adds that ability in over here as well. So I can right click open containing folder and up pops a Windows Explorer to that location. I can do so on the actual projects or solutions themselves as well. Open folder in Windows Explorer just saves me a drilling around trying to remember where I put something or trying to remember paths. I can also get a command prompt in any one of these locations. And it's of course the appropriate Visual Studio command prompt with my environment and so forth and so on so I could bring up a tool like GACUtil or uh, uh, ILDASM And these are just to show you that the path is correct on the command prompt that comes up. So it saves you copying and pasting uh, paths or, or the like. You can very quickly go to where you want to do. You want to copy a file in or you want to edit um, a file with a different tool like ILDASM. You're not spending your time uh, trying to remember where things are or trying to find your way around. The other thing that I often need is the path to a file. So. Uh, maybe I'm writing a Word document explaining where something is. I'm writing programmer documentation. So I can right click copy path and I just have a notepad up here just so that it's easy to see what's in my clipboard buffer. There's the full path. Uh, uh, alternatively I can go and maybe get the path to a, a project. All of these things are tiny but they do make a, a difference if you're trying to get your work done without stopping to think about what it is you're trying to do. Another classic reason for copying and pasting, um, let's say I want to email someone and I, and I want to say, um, hey is this a good way for me to implement this class? So I could just copy all of this and then flip over to Outlook and bring up a new mail message and so forth and so on but it's simply less less clicking, less remembering uh, if I right click and say email a code snippet. Up comes the mail message with the code pasted in. It even reminds in the subject line the name of the file that I got this snippet from. I don't have a lot of much work to do now in order to be able to send this message and get the, re the feedback that I'm looking for. I'm not going to save those changes or send that email. Now this is a pretty simplistic class library but perhaps I'm going to uh, do something in here or in my main application that's going to interact with COM in some way. Uh, for example I'm going to implement a COM interface uh, or perhaps I'm going to consume one. If you are working in that you know that you often need a GUID. Now, if you're a C++ programmer, you may know that on the Tools menu there is this Create Good option, but if you're not a C++ programmer, that uh, option may not be there, so you have to run around and look for it. There is a command line tool, I'll just get myself a command prompt, called GUIDGEN. It's so simple and easy to type command line things, isn't it? Come on over here. GUIDGEN which does launch uh, the exact same thing that you would get on the tools menu. Then you have to choose, uh, do I want this Ole Create style, do I want this Define GUID style, Static Construct style, or Registry format. 
And if you're, again, not a C++ programmer, maybe it's a little tough for you to know that. So what the power commands gets you um, is rather than generating a, a GUID that you have to remember to put in and so forth and so on, let's just go to this class and say insert GUID attribute. And yes, it generates a new GUID, but it also does the sort of snippet work of saying this is how you put the GUID attribute on that class. So it becomes a one uh, step process rather than a multi-step process where you're typing some things and generating a GUID and then pasting in what you generated and so forth and so on. Just jump straight to the chase which is what you actually want to do to this class. You want to put a GUID on it for some reason. Now I'm going to close this file and save it. And then imagine that I'm like, oh wait, I didn't mean to close that file. It could happen. On the view menu we now have under other windows the undo close window and this is just everything you've closed recently double click them to open them again so if you had a bunch of things open um, let's just do that and especially if you had something open that isn't in the project that you'd open from the open menu and when you close them all they all show up down here in the undo close and you can get any one of them open again uh, just by double clicking and it's, it gives you a little more confidence that when you when you close that document you're not going to be running around trying to remember it's especially a challenge when you have um, as this solution is working its way up to multi projects and you do a lot of right click go to definition file after file after file open then you get irritated because you have 20 files open and you close a bunch of them and then you're like wait which files did I have open again I actually wanted some of those so it's a very tiny thing but it, it's a good thing. And really, uh, that's what all of the power commands are about. I don't have time to cover all of them. There's tons more. I can show you them here to take care of little bits and pieces. Um, especially fun are the things that when you save the document, fix up all your indenting and tabbing, if that's not being done for you as you go along. Uh, fix up your usings, taking away ones you're not using, putting the rest in a sensible order many many little bits and pieces every developer regardless of the kinds of applications you create should go and download power commands from the code gallery get it installed and start using it and get more productive today